Hey everybody, this is Scott White and Kivowitz, and in this video I wanted to show you about the new background image options that you have available. So here we are with one of the new presets that is in Photocrati 4.8. And you'll notice there's a nice background image here. But if I go to Customize Theme, and I scroll down to the background settings, you'll see there's a lot of um, images that we've included. We've included some standard images, some photographs, some patterns, things like that. But I want to show you, um, and of course you could do, you know, fixed in place and repeated, um, have it automatically shrink or crop and fill the screen. Any, there's a lot of different options. But what I really wanted to show you was how to add a new image or how to remove an image. So if I go here and I hit the plus sign, it's going to bring up the, uh, the, the media library. And all I have to do is go ahead and drag. I just dragged it from another screen. I'm going to drag an image. To the media library. It's going to upload it and then select image. And now it shows here in the little box. Then all I gotta do is scroll down, save background settings, refresh the front end, and now we have a new image. Now, as you can see, it zoomed in pretty far and it scrolls with me. So that means if I go to the blog page and I start scrolling, it's gonna keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And you can see it's a very big image, and here is where it starts to repeat. So it's tiled. So I can say no repeat. I can say fixed in place and save. And now watch what happens when I refresh. Now, if you notice as I scroll, the background does not move. It is fixed in place. Now, how do you know if it's you know, shrinking, if it's not? So you can say cover whole area, or you can say cover whole area without cropping. So if I cover the whole area without cropping, it's going to look a little different. You can see now the image doesn't go the full width because to fill to fill well, completely without cropping this image is actually a square so I would need to go to cover whole area and save that refresh and now it fills again so this is basically what it looked like with automatic the photo quality theme decided what worked best for that photo and just automatically made it cover the whole area and of course you can offset the uh, background image from the top if you need to um, it's not a very common thing to do, but some people might need to do it, so we included that feature there. So that is how you would uh, add an image. Now let's say you wanted to switch the image. You can just, of course, go back to a different image. Let's say I'll go to this um, Cityscape one, save the background, refresh, and now it's going to be the black and white image. There you go. But let's say you want to delete one that you don't need. Just hit the red dot, the red little X over here um, after you select the image, and then save and now it's going to go back to nothing and there you go um, of course if you want to do a, a background slideshow you can as well uh, just make sure there's no background so you want no image and save and if you only want or, or let's say this make it even more interesting let's say you want um, the blue as your background for most pages but on the home page you want a background slideshow so you can just go here and just choose a slideshow, select the photos you want, save that. And now the home page should have a slideshow, as you can see. And the other page should have the blue, just like that. And there you go. So there's all the things you can do with the background images. And of course, it all uses the media library now. And by the way, before I uh, just skip on, same thing goes for your logo. So now if you want to choose a logo, header logo, custom logo, and now, um, you can see we have one built in. Uh, let's say I'm actually going to let's see, your preview. I'm going to add this. This is actually just a watermark test that I use for Next Gen Gallery. But let's say that is the logo. I'll just change this, and now we have a logo here. And of course, it's using the media library. But I'm going to switch that to the Photocrati default, and you'll see now it's like that. So there you go. Uh, it all uses the media library. Uh, your custom images are now using the media library. They're all upgrade safe. So if you do an upgrade in the future, you don't have to worry about replacing your logo again down the road or background images or things like that. So new in Photocrati 4.8. Thanks for watching.